Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you some tutorials on Adobe After Effects. Well, some basic tutorials on things that, things that you can do in effects. <coughs> First, what you're going to want to do, you want to go to Composition, New Composition, change the width to 480, and the height to 360. And click OK. And you get this little box. And then, you're going to want to type something in. I'm going to type in Sinister Distortions. Just like so. Okay, after you have this typed in, you can make it bigger, or you can simply make it smaller. Okay, after we have this, you can click out of the box where it gets unhighlighted. Or you can just go down here, make sure it's centered, and click out this again to get it uncentered. Okay, after you have it like this, what you can do, you can move the camera around do things like that. In order to do that, you have to go down here, click new, camera. And you can click OK, and press P on the keyboard, and then you can click on the camera, and you, you can make it move. Okay, here we go. Now I got it to move. Sorry. Okay, you click it and you can move it now to wherever you want it to move. Okay, after you have it like that, you can add many different effects to it. Like, say, I'm going to make a lightning effect. In order to make a lightning effect, go to New, Solid, click OK, and go to Effect, Generate, Advanced Lightning. This is just a really cool effect that they have. Okay, you can do this, and then you can click Play, and you can see how the lightning goes by, and the object, or the text, is moving with it. If you have that, you can do different effects. You can, I'll show you a few of them right now. You can simulation, you can make wave, foam. I'll show you the foam. In order to use the foam, just go up here. Oops. Where is it? Oh, here you go. Rendered. And then you can play it, and then foam and stuff will shoot up just like that. But more looks like bubbles. But whatever. I'm not going to use it. Okay, now we're back to our basic effect that we just had before. Okay, after you have all this, you can change all the stuff, make it glow, make it do all kinds of other cool crap. But now that you have it like this, you might want to render it. You can either go export use this but or you can go to composition add rendered Q. This is what I always like to do. Some because it's better I think. We're just gonna call this tutorial number one. You can save it and you can start to render it. Okay. Thank you and this has been a sensor tutorial video. Please subscribe to our page. Thank you.